hi viewers so in our data analytics and data analysis session now in this second example i am going to share with you another very interesting example so as we discussed in our previous uh, example one if you haven't watched that so that is i have pasted the link of the video in the description now for example if we have collected data regarding school age children and we want to identify the percent of school going children in the community i will be using three techniques number one with count if formulas the second one i will do that analysis with simple pivot table and the interesting one is the advanced pivot table uh, which you should uh, you must learn if you are using excel now for example why we need this for example there is a decision to make identify areas and gender which need special attention to increase the number of school age children for example if this is a question if this is the topic of the management that we need to identify some areas and the gender of uh, children which need special attention to increase the number of school age children now first of all when this when this decision has to be made uh, so what i would need i would need to uh, collect data uh, regarding school age children from that specific community now what would be the disaggregation that i would need for this decision making simply we would need age wise data we would need the data by gender and by location uh, because uh, when you are collecting the data of school going children so you will be asking the parents so to see the male headed uh, households and the female headed household the difference between these most of the cases we see is when the head of the family is female so uh, most of the students are then going to schools and when it comes to male so in some local communities the it's vice versa now by gender gender i means that boys and girls to see what percent of boys and what percent of girls to to identify the trend that whether um, for example in some area the percent school going children is 10 percent so i would need to see how much is the percent of boys and what is the percentage of the girls and by locations also i would need for example if i have overall data that this percent uh, of children are going to schools so i would need by location also to see which of my target locations is mostly in need of intervention or which of the gender or which of the um, or which of the household age and i would also like to see that for example if the head of the household is uh, 30 years old so what is the percent of school going children in that household and if the head of the household is 50 year old so what is the percent of the school school going children and those households so all these questions would come to my mind that what is the percent overall of children enrolled are going to school what is the percent of children disaggregated by gender boys and girls enrolled are what is the percent of children disaggregated by gender boys and girls and locations also and the advanced one would be which area and which of the gender boys girls shows lowest minimum and maximum percent of school age children so i would need to see all this all these areas now for this a data where i have the name of the household the age of the household the gender of the household the location of the household and the number of children in that household boys and girls overall and the number of children in that household boys and girls going to school so here i will show you how to analyze and collect such data with count if formulas also with simple pivot table and advanced pivot table and how to identify such type of trends and to respond to these questions now this is the data that we have collected for such type of information you just need uh, this information is enough for you location name of hh if that is also not available no issue and if you obtain the contact number also so that would also be good gender of the household age of the household so this is about the household now simply number of children age 5 to 14 school going children when we are talking about school going children so we are talking about the children whose age is 5 to 14 
uh, some organization use it 5 to 18, 16, 15, 20, 18. So I have just used, for example, uh, I would need to ask them about the number of total children whose age is 5 to 14. So first I will obtain this information and then number of children age 5 to 14 going to school, who are going to schools. So this would give me a lot of information, but I would have to analyze it by boys, girls, and then by the age of the HH and by gender and by location of the. Here I have all this information available. Now, simply if you want the percentage to be obtained against each household. So for that, simply you just need to add these three columns here and add percent of children. We just add percent of children age 5 to 14 going to school who are enrolled in schools so now here i what i would need i would need to divide this boy by the total boy these are the total and these are school going and enter and here i would apply the percent formula and now i would need it for girls also and for total also so i would just copy paste and paste so here you would see now this one is error because there are zero girls in this uh, household and zero are going to school. So first you need to clean this data also most of the time when we collect such data. So um, you need to see whether the number of children going to schools are more than the number of total children because typo errors might be there. So first you need to clean that uh, and that you can do just simply uh, this minus this and uh, just see this. Uh, in all your data whether there are some minus figures or not so you can uh, do that now here this error is uh, showing here why because uh, there are zero girls and zero so it shows this error wherever you see this so it means that uh, both of the digits are zero, zero now you can hide it like this also you can use a uh, f error formula f error small bracket and then the same formula this divided by this and after that value f error what would be the value it should be zero nothing so i just copy it now you won't see those error and it would just say zero and you can use anything instead of this zero if you want to use here na not applicable so if you are not using digit so then if it is text so you need to use these quotation marks na and close it so now here you see instead of it shows enable it's not applicable now you see this is basically giving you url household wise information how many households have 100 percent of children going to school how many households have zero percent so that, that way you can see but here you just now we need this information to be analyzed properly so first of all uh, i would do this with the count f with advanced pivot and simple pivot now here first do it with uh, count if uh, with pivot in advanced pivot you can do that but it's more time consuming and more a little bit confusing than the count if. i will show you all the three and then you can first you need a table by locations gender wise response respondents details gender wise and by age so you should obtain this information from this table to give you the n that is needed everywhere the n the number the total sample so here you need first that information so simply i have already done many sessions on count f and some ifs so you can watch them also in the video description they are and let me do that once again here simply i would need now the count f formula and what i am calculating i am calculating here the number of respondents by locations and by gender count ifs small bracket come to your database here first i need location so i would go to location column click in the first cell control shift down it would take you to the last row now here i need to apply the dollar sign why because i would need to lock this range so that it may not move down if i move down in the analysis sheet comma location now this was the range now what is the criteria 
against which against go to the analysis sheet against this location all these locations name i have already pasted here the locations that i have already decided for the data collection okay now i am not going to lock this range why because it should go down after that comma so this would give me the location wise number now i need gender also here now uh, i need the gender wise also so another comma go to the db now come to the gender column click in the first cell control shift down now dollar apply the dollar dollar is needed everywhere so you need this to apply the dollar to lock this range now comma what is the criteria for this for this uh, gender that is simple i have used m and f you see here m and f so i would just do i am not ranging anything because here i have used the complete name mal so i would not range this i would just say here in the quotation mark m to calculate m only here because this is male now i just need to copy this formula from here and paste it here also and change just the m to f because i am calculating the same thing but just the last condition is f female so what i would do as i told you in the previous sessions also go to the formula bar and copy the complete formula along with the is equal to and paste it here you can do this like this also to copy this and paste it here but here you have not locked the range of location so if you go copy and paste it in the female so this location a5 would change to b5 so that's why you just need to copy this complete formula from here along with the is equal to paste it here and just change in this cell change this m to f female and now here total so i just need to plus and plus now just drag it below so now you see you have complete 183 household respondents among which 69 are male and 114 are female you can obtain a simple percentage here also just for your information this divided by this and this divided by this and select both of them and apply percentage so 62 percent are male and 38 percent are female now you need to obtain the gender wise information the location wise responded information by age also you would need that below in the analysis to see the number of school going children by the gender of the household head and by the age of the household head also because sometimes when the head of the household is mostly in these ages so there we face such issues so you need to identify those trend and pattern okay now i am using this same formula now but location wise i am same so this first part is the same but here I would need to use the edge column. So what I do, I would completely copy this. This is a shortcut. Okay, this is for the, from the formula bar along with this equal to and paste it. Now go to the database. Here you see, or you can come again to do that same process. This is the edge column. If, okay, this one is the edge column. In the previous one, I was using gender, so I was using E column. Now I would need F column. So come here. The first one is OK because that's also location wise. Now this one is E. See this, this formula? This is E. So I would change it to F. Just replace this. And now here, I do not need male, female. So I would do it. Uh, this is the age now what is my range I have written the range here so here I need 18 to 25 years people so I would say greater than or equal to 18 and then take this whole formula again copy it and paste it here and say lesser than and equal to 20 and you need to close this 
condition this criteria in the quotation here also now you see four four people from a location are between the age of 18 to 25 now i would just copy this complete from the formula bar along with this equal to and paste it here and now i would say that if this age is now what is the criteria 26 to 35 so I would say greater than or equal to 26 and lesser than or equal to 35. Now in this one, I paste it again. 36 to 45. So I would say greater than or lesser uh, equal to 36. And here I just change it to 45. I just need these both ranges. Now 46, 55. So here I would write 46 and here I would say 55. And here I do not need two conditions. So I would remove this last one. And with this one, I would just say greater than 55. And that's it. Now you see, just see the total of these different categories sum what is the sum 33 and here the sum is 20 only what might be the reason why it's different because if the male female total is 20 so why the gender wise data here is 33 let's see this formula sorry this is lesser than it should be greater than now you see it's 20 and this one is also 20 when these are same so your formula is correct now just copy it and paste it till then. And that's that's your age wise data. Okay. Now I need the number of children age 5 to 14 total. Go to the database. Here you see I would need to calculate these three columns against location. So these three columns, if you see there are digits now. So when there are digits and you need to there were digits in the age column also but we just needed to calculate the number of people but here i boys and uh, three children four children five children so i would need some to use a sum formula so using the sum formula now so what i would do i would come to my analysis sheet i would write here sum ifs sum ifs what go to database this one this boys color sum if click control shift done now done this is sum if now comma against what against the location so i would go to the location column now select first cell control shift down comma and here now i go to the analysis sheet and select the location that against this location sum if the boys if the location is this one and sorry i didn't apply the dollar dollar is very important and it should be there on all these cells ranges now here you see there are 27 boys in this a location now what i need just copy the complete cell paste it here now in the first one i used the boys column the g column now i would need to use the h column so simply i pasted it and here uh, in this g column instead of this g column i would need to use h column. and here i just need to sum them both i do not need to count the total column there and now you see you have these students numbers paste them now here I need the sum formula to calculate the overall. So sum, small bracket close, and this one and this one. Now this is my total number of student. Now I need the number of, uh, total number of children, sorry. Now I need the number of children uh, going to school. So either I can do this completely and paste it here and go and see the column number and add it. But let me do it again sum if small bracket when it is sum if so the first one doesn't need any condition you just need to range it range it 
and apply the dollar sign comma now i need this by location so go to the location column click in the first cell control shift down here you are and comma and here you need the criteria this location for the first one you do not need criteria because you are summing that column only and against this location now you see these are going to school these are the this is the boys column going to school one this one j column now i need the k column so i can just go there again or just copy this completely paste it and change this j to what was the name of that column k And here I just need a total. Copy and paste it here. You can use these simple copy paste. Here I just copied the same formula here also, here also. Now this is the school going children and this is the total children. Now percent is simple is equal to this boy going to school boys divided by total boys you see here and now just apply the percent copy paste paste copy and paste it to the end and here now you see overall 48 percent are going to school boys 53 percent girls 43 percent so it shows that the, the percent of school going children and boys is higher than the girls and by locations you can now identify the different trends so now you just select this whole you need to select the whole um, analysis sheet just to compare it with the conditional formatting just to see the first one let's see here here you see now the icon sets what it's showing you it shows this one is good this one is good this one is good now there are some red for example this e location this e location need a special focus because you have boys girls in total and here in this location you see in this b location the girls going to children uh, going to school girls is higher than uh, overall data so we need to see this also that why the girls uh, the percent of girls going to school is so much high in this location what they are doing why you can apply different techniques now to this conditional formatting to apply a different percent criteria to see for example we have already applied this icon set now let's go to the management manage rules manage rules double click now here you see what it has applied by default when the value is uh, greater than or equal to 67 so you apply this icon when it's uh, between 67 to 33 so this so i can change it i can say that when the value is above 90 so you should add this icon or in local areas we can say 80 percent if it's greater than or equal to 80 percent use this icon if it's um, 80 between 80 and uh, 60 so use this icon and if it is below 60 so use this icon so you can apply these different criteria now okay apply now you will see mostly a red and down arrow these are not good only this one this one so you can identify these trend from here now you need to analyze this data this is the analysis by location only now you need to see this by the gender of HH. What is the percent of children going to school when the head of the HH is male? What is the percent of children going to school when the head of the uh, family is female? So uh, why not we should see it like this. Number of children going to school when the male, when the head of the household is male and uh, then percentage and number of children going to school when the head of the household is female and then percentage and compare them also so now i just need percent of children going to school in the above table first i needed number of total children 
and then number of children going to school now since i already have this number so i do not need again this number i just now need only this information but i will apply another condition that when the male when the head of the household is male so simply if small bracket go to db this is now now i am just playing with these three columns so this is my column boys first click and then control shift down dollar red comma now i need this by location first so select the location first cell then control shift down then comma go to your analysis select the location the relevant location then comma now i need the male hh only go to db and come to this gender column click in the first cell and then control shift down so you need to obtain all these information in the start you need to decide about this that what sort of disaggregation i would need and now here i just need male so in the quotation mark i will type m because i have used here m and f for male and female in close bracket now the total eight boys at this location are going to school we are from those household we are the head of the household is male now this is eight it's enough for me now this was the boys column now i need the girls column also so i can use uh, this here you see you can apply the uh, other formulas of the dollar but uh, that would i think confuse you now that is to lock your data by columns and by rows now the the most easy way is to copy this along with this equal to paste it here now in the first one i was you uh, calculating the j column now i need this k column so i will just come here and change this j column here you see this here you see this j column with k simply just replace that with k and here you need the total so just use this is not again in that format okay now let me copy copy and paste it now just apply that some formula here here and here now you have that number of children going to school at these location when the head of the household is male now what would be the percentage so how to obtain a percentage from this simple you have di this divided by the total number of children going to school at this location this is the number of children going to school when the head of the household is male so percent of children going to school would be this divided by the total number of children at that community at that village so divided by this only just use this formula and now do not use dollar wallet so copy paste paste and copy paste paste it till the end and apply the percent uh, format total number of children situation was this 56 28 41 but when the head of the household is male so it is 30 14 and 21 let's see the the, the female headed household also now here i was using this i would need this formula and this formula same here but just change this m to f when the head of the household is female so copy this paste it here and make it f now go copy this one from the female paste it here and make it female so here i would need to to, to obtain a percentage i would need to divide this number of children going to school when the head of the household is female and total number of children of that community divide paste paste and and now you just need to apply the percentage and paste it here uh, for comparison let's make a simple table this is the location we need location then we need this table this table and along with this we need this one overall percentage so i will just uh, take this one 
here it would show those errors because I have to use that as equal to formula you will see now so percent children going to school URL this is my URL table now I would need one two three another one percent children going to school mail HH and here I would need female HH and now as equal to go to that table bring this one just as equal to and click this and now just copy and paste it into this so along with that conditional formatting it's here now here I need the male HH percent children so this was the male HH percent children just copy it and paste it here now here I need the female HH household percent of children going to first remove those okay now you see and it's not important your this formula can be against any type you can do it like vertical analysis also this is horizontal and here also you can uh, obtain these percentages by only those children who were actually going to school URL you can obtain this from this column also I have obtained this from the total children but you can obtain this from this uh, school going children also that depends on your trends and patterns that you want to identify now here so now let's see now it now here you see a person children going to school URL at this a location the boys percent 56 percent boys and 28 percent girls are going to school so we wanted to see uh, on which side whether when the head of the household is male or female uh, whether it affects the uh, percent of school going children or not so when we identified that so we see that when the head of the household is male so 30 percent so overall among these 56 percent 30 percent are from the male hh and 26 percent are from the female hh so it's good on the male side and when it uh, the, the, the girls percent was overall 28 percent so when we uh, look at the disaggregated data so it's 14 percent and same at both the male and female headed households at this a location okay this analysis the way i did this analysis it would always when you combine this and this so it would make the total according to this one now you can do this analysis in another uh, vertically or horizontally other ways also it depends upon the management for example i have obtained here the percentage is that number of children going to school when the head of the household is male divided by the total number of children at that community you can divide this by this one also that number of children going to school URL and here you can divide that when the head of the household is male so that would give another perspective but the percent highest percent and lowest percent would be the same I did it against the URL just to make it sure that when we combine these percentages with these so it should make the total as is available here see so that you can also do but the highest level lowest level that would be the same now here when we try to see that at this B location boys 47 percent and girls 31 percent are going to school when it comes to the head of the household only 7 percent are female side boys are going to school this is overall 47 percent among these 47 percent 40% are from the male house, uh, headed household only 7% are from the female headed household here you see in this one it's C location 38% is the total number of uh, children going to school where it's only 6% when the head of the household is male and it's 32% when the head of the household is female so it's good on the female side here but here it's good on the male so you can see all these different things with these icon sets or any other way that you want you can compare them now you can apply this conditional formatting separate each table also for example if i select only this one and go to there and apply this icon set 
it shows like this then i select this one go there and apply this now when i select all of them so the trend would show you the these criteria against overall data but when you are going to by different disaggregation so you should select only that disaggregated area and here also see here the situation on boy side is little bit good but let me apply that criteria manage rule there are three rules so in this one also i need this to be 80 and this one to 60 now here the situation on boy side is a little bit okay but on girl side is down but when you look at the male headed household and female in both it's the same but here the, the male side is a little bit good straight not down but the female one is down here the female one is a little bit good but this one is down so you can see all these here at this location you see the overall boy score is good the female is also good overall it's good but on the male side it's completely bad only on the female side and overall it's good so you can identify these trend then a lot and you can see which of the headed household as good in this regard and you can similarly do this same information for the age wise also that when the head of the household is this age so what is the percent of children going to school when the head of the household is between this age so what is the percent i would share this sheet with you in the description you would see the 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 detail the link you can download it and i would like you to do this and uh, give me the analysis sheet share it with me on my email which is available in the channel about uh, section so i would add these details in the description so let's see what you do otherwise we can uh, if you comment and you don't understand so we can do this in another session but here what you need to do number of children going to school the percent are number here you can obtain the number and here the percent number of children going to school when the head of the household ages between these areas in both we have done number of children you can obtain from some f of the uh, number of children going to school column and the age one just like we did here in that age so you can uh, do this uh, this is for you a practice do it and share it with me let's see in the pivot table how you can do this in pivot table first of all for pivot table when your database is like this so there are uh, the headings the merge headings so pivot table do not accept these merge headings what you have to do you have to add another row here where you just type the same information here but when it comes to such type of merge columns so you need to add for example is there, uh, here i have used tv total boys t girls tg total girls tt total total and here school b school boys school going boys school going girls because do not use spaces here now so you can use this column this headings now for pivot table you cannot use this heading for pivot table select this till the end and now go to insert pivot table click it now here if you want it with the simple pivot table so it would be very difficult for you so you use this add this data to the to the data model if this is not available in your excel sheet so uh, what you would do i will just explain now first if you have this so add this data to the data model okay now here you are in the pivot table on this uh, you already might know about the pivot table etc here in this pivot table these are those column heads available to you here all those columns available in your database and this place is for using filter different types of filter this is for columns and this is for rows so in the rows we need the location here these locations we need these locations here and now what i need in the values here in front of these locations 
the number of students going to school. So I would just come here and would just click TB total boys. So you would see that in here in the values sum of TB it has named it already and just click all those columns which you need in the sum values school girls schools total so here you have these three columns are showing the total number of boys girls and total and here you see the number of uh, school going boys school going girls and school going total now what the problem here is now you if you have the older version so you cannot use here the percent column for that you would need to add that uh, manually the, the format is also very difficult to because in that count if and some if you have made your own table and you are here you can't do that so percent girls you can do this but like this you will have to double click each of the headings and you will say total boys and then you will have to change this one to total girls of that age and this one is total so you would need to change these columns headings and then uh, you can add here also the person formula and simply you will have to do it like this then this divided by this simply the count if function would not be needed then and you can just apply the percent formula and so you will have this total but then when it comes to see the other analysis for example that we did here the the one that was uh, for uh, um, number of children when the head is male and when the head is female so for that you would need then other tables how you would need to copy this table completely paste it here and in this one you would just need here in the filter gender of hh just bring that here you see now you will have to filter only male and here you would have this table so you would just need to copy this and paste it here as a paste value and then again go there and select f so now you have all the f information copy that and paste it here paste value so this is the female one information that when the header of the household is female and this one is when the head of the household is male so you can uh, use pivot table also for this type and um, do this analysis uh, like this but here if you see your data has, is locked now it's paste value as numbers so the difficulty here would be that whenever you update the data or something like that so you will have to do all this process again and in that count if and some ifs they would automatically update the information according to the database whichever change you do there so that would be automatically available there so that is better than uh, the pivot table the pivot table is useful in cases which i will be sharing a session on that and pivot table can also be updated with refresh but here you see you have already pasted your data as paste value or you will have to use many pivot tables for this type of analysis that we did in this session and if you have the data model option available in your data then simply you just need to come here to this place to this range right click add measure add measure table range measure name percent boys i want to obtain okay percent boys here and what would be the formula is equal to what you need this column divided by this so name of this column what is the name of this column sum of school b sum of when you type it so it gives you all those columns names so sum of uh, school b divided by what divided by total b 
total boys divided by total you will have to use those old names if you have changed them so you will have to use those sum of this tv this was the older name we changed it so this would be the formula now okay when you do this here you will see that uh, percent boys you see that is available to you just click it when you click it so here you will see that additional column you can add these columns from here and similarly you can do that for person girls so that would be available here and percent overall that would be available here so all this and here you can use the category format number and from here you just select percentage so you can do it with pivot table like this but that you will have to generate some tables and all this information and in the analysis you just use count and formula so now it depends the, the the advanced mode that i wanted to show you is this measurement which is available now in the pivot table if there is uh, if you want to add additional columns so you can add those additional columns with formulas from here just add measure and table range is already selected name that table and here you can use any type of formula so that you can do with this pure table now, now that depends upon your preferences but i would uh, always recommend to use uh, the count f and sum f for such type of analysis because here you are going by different disaggregation and in a pivot table for each type of table you would have to generate separate pivot table for example this was only for this so now i would have to copy this and paste it below and here if i want to apply some other uh, disaggregation for example gender or age so i will have to use that in the filter and then here uh, you can't do it like this to show you the male and female first you would need the male and then female or you would have to go to the advanced level of your table in which you generate such table then what you do you just ungroup the data uh, there are different options in pivot table so you just ungroup all of the data and then on that pivot table you do your another pivot table uh, to analyze the information so i will make another uh, detailed tutorial on pivot table only in which i will explain all these areas but uh, <clears throat> pivot table would need to be refreshed and this one is auto whatever change you do there in the database so that will be reflected here and here you can just manipulate the information according to your needs if you visit my channel so you will see the sessions on microsoft excel powerpoint windows uh, online kobo forms microsoft forms google forms and many other sessions so go there watch uh, all these tutorials comment like and share with your friends and family members and uh, this session will continue i am working on the next session and will upload soon